Come on. Bad, 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 bad boy. Yeah. You make me feel so good. Bad boy. You know you make me feel so good. Yeah. You know you make me feel Hi guys. Welcome to my channel. How's every little thing? Here at Chronically Beautiful, we are doing our best to live an awesome life, even though we don't feel like it. And today, I really don't feel like it. I do not feel well. I'm rocking a hoodie. Um, I am cold. I feel like I'm getting sick. It has been wind chill factor of 40 below in Michigan here for days. And it's supposed to be 50 degrees on Monday. So always Michigan weather. And I feel like I'm getting sick. I know that I am. So I have an awesome trick, recipe, tip, thing for anybody who is trying to avoid getting the cold, avoid getting the flu, um, or trying to kick the cold, stop it in its tracks, get rid of it more quickly. This is not going to taste good, but it's going to work really well. So let's dive right in. We have our ingredients here, so we're going to start. We have to have a sort of mixer kind of thing. You don't have to, but it helps. So I like grape juice the best, and it makes this taste the least disgusting. And then it also... Um, grape juice has um, antioxidants and a lot of properties. They say it is really, really good for avoiding the stomach flu. Like some people swear by drinking like eight ounces of grape juice every morning just because it makes it a bad environment for germs and stuff. I don't know if all that is true, but I know that it, it works for me. So I, I couldn't tell you the science behind it, but it's supposed to work really well. I know if I feel stomachy or somebody in the house is feeling stomachy, I jump right to grape juice. So this is just from Aldi, my place. And it's just, as long as you just use 100% grape juice and use the, the dark grape juice, not white grape juice. So we've got our grape juice, that is its thing. Okay, the main most important ingredient in this is ugh, it gets so gross on the bottom is apple cider vinegar and it cannot just be like random apple cider flavored vinegar it needs to have the mother the mother, the mother is the bacteria that is in acv or apple cider vinegar that does all of those amazing things that we want it to do so if you're using acv that does not have the mother it, it's it's not going to make a difference. As long as you are choosing something, though, that has the mother, you can really use any brand, but Bragg's is just the one that I like. They all taste and smell disgusting, so if you are looking for the one that tastes the best, I'm sorry, I have never found one that tastes good, and they all smell like a foot that's been in a butt, so <laughs> you're not going to have luck with that, but some people just like it. Some people just take this straight every day, a couple tablespoons in the morning and at night. That is not something I can do. I cannot do it. It is just too disgusting for me, but some people swear by that. It hurts my stomach when I do it that way, and it hurts my taste buds. So um, this is our main ingredient. Okay, the next thing we're going to use is lemon juice. Now, you can use fresh lemon juice if you have it. I'm just not on it enough to have fresh lemons around the house all the time. So this is, again, from Aldi, um, just like basic, as long as it's 100% lemon juice, if you want to go organic, you certainly can. Um, the Bragg's is organic, this apple juice and this lemon juice is not. So, uh, But you, you could do that if you feel better about it. The next thing you're going to need is raw honey. It needs to be... Oh. If you can find local honey, that is the best. Because when you are eating your local honey, that means that you are building up antibodies against your local allergens. So if you're allergic to plants, trees, flowers, anything that bees pollinate, and they are pollinating those things and then making the honey and you're eating that honey, it's almost like um, a vaccine, I suppose, that helps you with your allergies. And again, um, you can look up the science on that just in my reading. I don't have a source to cite right now, but I've read it a lot and it has worked for me. This is not a local honey for me right now. It's winter time, but typically in the summer when I can get a hold of local honey, that's what I use. But again, it must be raw honey. Next thing you're going to use is ginger. I really prefer fresh ginger on this. Um, and I do have some in my freezer, but I'm just trying to keep it simple tonight. I don't feel good. Um, ginger powder works fine. Just ground ginger is just fine. The next thing you're going to need is cayenne pepper. And I got this at the bulk food store, and there is so much in here. And all you need of this is really like a pinch. Um, it is up to you how much you can handle of this. It should not be so damn hot that I'm up here having dreams about me being on fire. I just use a pinch or maybe like an eighth of a teaspoon because it's very strong. But this is what's going to get your sinuses like draining and kind of cleaning everything out. It's like a natural decongestant. The final ingredient, um, if 
you want to add it is airborne. And I forgot to bring that, but I think I have some in my purse. Hold on. But the pink grapefruit and the berry taste much better, in my opinion, than the lime and the orange, but it's really your call. In this recipe and with the Bragg's, the ACV, this tastes a lot better. So you do not have to add this. I don't add it when I'm just doing this on my daily, but I do add it when I'm feeling sick. And you might even want to add like emergency or whatever type of thing that like that that you take. If I have elderberry syrup on hand, I will also add a little bit of that. So these are our ingredients and we are going to mix this up. So let's do it. So we're going to start with our apple cider vinegar. Make sure you shake it really good. And we're going to do, depending on how much you can take of this, we're going to do two tablespoons. You probably don't want to do more than two tablespoons and you may want to just start with one because like I said, it reeks. It smells so bad. Don't smell it when you're drinking this, I swear. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add our lemon juice. We're going to do about one teaspoon of lemon juice. And this can be pretty strong, so go easy on it. Please don't overdo it on the lemon juice. You will hurt your stomach and your throat. So I do just about a teaspoon, I don't know, maybe a splash. To be quite honest with you, I do not normally measure this. I just eyeball it and splash everything in and call it a day. But I'm trying to make this a recipe for you. Next thing I do is take my raw unfiltered honey. And this I'm not going to measure. I just do a squeeze. It's probably a tablespoon or two or three. Just depends. Now, when you are squeezing raw honey over top, or any kind of honey, over top of ice, it's going to really turn into like a honey sickle. So you have to stir, stir, stir the crap out of it if you want to make this happen. All right, ginger. For the ginger, we're going to do about a half teaspoon. But again, I, I often just open the thing and shake the heck out of it. Ginger really helps a lot. To, it's an anti-inflammatory. It's great for your stomach. This is, believe it or not, this drink does wonders for me when, when I have a stomach ache. So I'm going to do the half teaspoon of that, which looks about right. And the ginger's kind of hot, so be careful. It, it's, it's got some bite to it. It's a little spicy. A little spicy. Then we're going to go with our cayenne pepper, which I usually just grab a pinch with my fingers, but that is about an eighth of a teaspoon. We're going to go there. And like I said, this is hot. Oh, is hot. I would certainly not do more than this in one serving of this drink. You are going to burn your face off and keep stirring it while you drink because the, the kind, look at that, Ugh, it's really not appetizing. And like I said, it doesn't taste great. The honey helps and the ginger helps. So then we're gonna stir, stir, stir. This doesn't, it's not as hard to stir, look at that. This is what happens to the honey when it's cold. This is not unusual. It's not as hard to stir if you do not have the ice in. So you might wanna make the whole thing and then stir it up and then put your ice, but I like to do it this way. Or you can just do it neat without the ice. It's fine. Stir, stir, stir. And then I'm going to take my grape juice and fill it the rest of the way to the top. You can use apple juice. You can use water. Orange juice is horrible. Don't do it to yourself. I will usually use grape juice or water. Like if I'm, I was traveling last week, wasn't feeling good and did this, and I used the uh, water and it was fine. Now, the Airborne, I'm going to wait to add the Airborne until I'm just about to drink it because, I don't know if you knew this or not, but you are not supposed to let Airborne sit in there forever. Somewhere on this bottle it says something like, make sure that you drink it within 15 minutes or something of that nature. At least it used to say that. So I am going to wait and put this in right when I'm about to drink it. So right now I'm going to just let it sit for a little while for the, ugh, for the honey to melt and just for the disgusting flavors to kind of congeal together. It's not the worst. It smells much worse than it tastes, but it does work really well, guys. I'm telling you, it really does. All right, guys, so that was my recipe for my immune system detoxifying, cold blasting, whatever you want to call it. I got to come up with a better name. It's just, no. If I'm ever going to market this, it's got to be something better than this. But anyways, it might not sound good and it definitely doesn't smell good it doesn't look bad it doesn't taste great but i'm telling you it'll work any of these ingredients alone 
are going to be great for your body when you are dealing with illness or just trying to stay healthy. I do try to drink one of these every few days, even when I'm feeling healthy. And then when I'm feeling sick, I will drink two or three a day. So if you are able to catch that tickle in the throat, that kind of chill that you're getting, don't think, oh, there's just something in my throat. Oh, I'm just a little cold. I'll get a sweater. Really listen to your body. What is your body telling you? It's one of the things about having a chronic illness that is so important it's to know our bodies and I think if everybody knew their bodies the way that those of us who are fighting with our bodies every day did a lot less people would be sick because I can feel something coming on days before you would normally feel it so hopefully you guys are in tune with your system and if you're not I hope that you will be I hope to post a video about that as well but uh, let's start by trying to stay healthy and this is going to help you a lot even though you probably won't enjoy it Cheers. Oh, smooth. Take care of you. Man, come on. Bad, 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 bad boy. Yeah. You make me feel so good. Bad boy. You make me feel so good. Disgusting but works drink. No. <laughs> and leggings. Ha ha! What up? Son of a- <laughs>